Oh, hey there everybody. Welcome back. Guess what? I'm going to do something that's a bit different. Something that we don't really do a whole lot of on this channel. In fact, this is probably the first time we've done anything like this. It is a popular thing that's done. I've seen it done out there, but I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a toy, but not just any toy. Here it is. <laughs> Lara Croft Tomb Raider, the Barbie doll. I'm stunned, surprised, and stunned probably su more surprised than anything it was a few days ago that i learned that apparently mattel or whoever the hell owns barbie got the bright idea that because the new movie is coming out that they might as well market <laughs> we now have a Lara croft barbie doll figure uh it's definitely not your average barbie in fact i wouldn't even go as far as to say that this is barbie disguised as Lara Croft. no it, it it's it's Lara. at least how she's portrayed from the 2k13 game and the new movie coming out i saw this being advertised by people who said that they found it at their local toys r us's and it wasn't even supposed to be available yet seeing as how they went ahead and did it i called up my local toys r us or one of the few local toys r us's that i have in my area and one of them actually did have one of them in there Clearly, <laughs> it's mine now. It's actually pretty cool. The price is a little steep for, let's just be honest, a Barbie doll. I don't know, I'm not a Barbie doll aficionado by any stretch of the imagination. Are Barbie dolls supposed to be regularly expensive? Because this thing was $29.99. Yeah, pretty steep for, I don't know, maybe that's just the going rate of Barbie dolls in general. I don't know, action figures or just cool little statues or things that I'm usually into for collectibles don't usually reach that high unless it's one of those really expensive name brand figures that have like maximum articulation in every single joint with tons of accessories. The box is really cool. Uh, features Lara from the new movie coming out, which excited to see. I expect it to be a good video game movie based on a 2013 Tomb Raider game, which again, I thought was pretty good. So with that, I'm expecting to be satisfied. I don't expect it to be breaking Rotten Tomatoes high scores of being absolutely loved. I don't expect it to be best movie of the year or anything. I expect to go to see a video game movie based on a game and satisfied. So, you know what, before we get started unboxing this thing, let's read the little back of it right here. Let's see. Lara Croft is the fiercely independent daughter of an eccentric adventurer who vanished mysteriously. Leaving everything she knows behind, she embarks on a journey to his last known destination. A fabled tomb on a mythical island, Lara Croft ventures into the unknown, armed with only her sharp mind, blind faith, and stubborn spirit. She must push herself beyond her limits. Can she survive this perilous adventure and earn the title? of Tomb Raider. I don't know. Let's get started unboxing and let's see if uh, she's worth the price and if she's cool to have in your Tomb Raider collection or if you're just a person looking for a Barbie doll for your daughter or weirdly your son. Let's check it out. All right guys now here we are here is Lara Croft outside of the box. Oh no you removed her from her packaging. You've ruined the collector's value. What have you done? Hey, toys are meant to be played with, posed, and all that jazz. Both surprised and a little disappointed with the figure. Don't get me wrong, it actually is, all things considered, a pretty damn good figure. Uh, before we go into details, one thing I thought was pretty interesting is as soon as I opened it, I'm given this certificate of authenticity, knowing that this Barbie doll, which you have purchased, is hereby certified that it is legit and indeed an actual Barbie created by Mattel and... Yeah. Moving on to the doll itself. We all know what you guys want to see. Nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, the things that I'm disappointed about are actually, believe it or not, the lack of accessories. Now, when you first take a look at the box, one thing you immediately notice is that she does come with the pickaxe, which is taken directly from the 2013 game, and of course, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, but one thing that is kind of interesting is, I don't know if this is a design choice or a flaw, but in the games and in the film, her pickaxe is supposed to be red. It doesn't look quite red. It looks pretty pinkish. And I don't know if that's just a Barbie thing, but whenever we release a new Barbie anything, it's got to have pink on it somewhere. So 
Like, the axe? All right, good. Make it pink instead. So, yeah, it's it, not a big deal. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of detail on the axe, honestly. It's pretty basic. Just solid paint colors. But, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, you get her journal, which she uses, I'm going to assume, in the movie to track her father's whereabouts and to keep progress reports and all that. Uh, she also gets a map, which I do believe we also got to see within the 2013 game as well. And that's it. No bow and arrow, no guns, no arms of any kind. This is quite literally probably the most bare bones we've ever gotten with a Lara Croft figure. I don't know if it's a Barbie thing where we can't have Barbie figures with weapons of any kind. It's just not the Barbie thing. It's, I mean, yeah, we know we're making a Tomb Raider Barbie doll here, but we can't exactly feature weapons. Anyway, uh, in her face, she doesn't look like your average Barbie doll, so that is a cool feature is that they actually did make a new mold that tries to make her look like probably the actress from the film or closer to the game that which she's represented in. Um, her articulation, surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. I had heard some mixed opinions based on, uh, I don't know, whatever Barbie dolls is supposed to do, but she moves pretty well. Like I thought her knee joints only went so far at first, but there is a little bit of a give once you snap them into place. So she can bend it all the way, or as far back as humanly possible, I suppose. So yeah, there's no articulation in the feet or the boots. Interesting boot design. I don't know if this is what she's gonna be wearing in the movie or if she actually wears that in the game. I don't know, it doesn't look too familiar. So yeah, the pants, actually, you know what guys, the fabric in which her clothes are made out of is quite sturdy. Like I would say that this fabric would last quite a while. And we all know who, like girls when they're playing with their Barbie dolls how much they love to take off their clothes and the clothes get lost and I'm sure all of you know the first thing to go are the Barbie's clothes and probably the second thing to go is their heads so yeah quite surprised at how articulate she is even the arms they have a little bit of a longer joint there so she can yeah you got to force it a little bit but she can get some posing action up in there not all the way but again probably going for almost humanly possible not over the edge um maybe it's because i'm spoiled by you know guys action figures and whatnot that the detailing in her body is not that good in fact there really isn't any like an average typical barbie doll it's kind of a solid flat color with some basic muscle structure no shading of any kind uh none of that de detail she does got nice hair, though. Pretty good. I don't know. Like, I was thinking about uh, doing the braid thing. You know how women like to braid their hair? I was going to try to make her look like the original Lara Croft, but I don't know. There's a lot of thick hair going on here. I don't really think you really could do anything with it other than just kind of comb it out and leave it the way it is. Hmm, who knows? I might try. But yeah, again, going back to the lack of accessories, it really is a bare-bones Lara Croft figure. Now, she is in true G.I. Joe slash Barbie fashion. She's a 12-inch figure. So what I would recommend is probably going online and looking for 12 inch figure accessories like from G.I. Joe, like pistols, holsters, and if you're lucky, maybe a bow and arrow. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. And just kind of accessorize her up to make her look a little bit more like the Lara Croft that we know and love. Give her two pistols and give her some holsters. And now again, I did mention that she was $29.99. Do I think that it's a worthwhile price? Well, again, yes and no. The lack of accessories is really disappointing. I mean, Lara Croft is well known for her trademark signature weapons and the fact that they don't give her any of those. Um, I don't know if it's just because for the sake of making it a less pricey doll that they decided not to go through with that. It is disappointing that she doesn't have any of those. All things considered though, she is still fully posable, really flexible. And even though she doesn't have her pistols or her bow and arrow, the pickaxe, if you recall anything within the video games, she is more than capable of sticking this in somebody's skull. So I don't know, maybe the people that were making the doll didn't realize that or didn't get that far enough into the game to realize that this baby right here is used more than just climbing. So yeah, um, going out of my way, what I actually did just because I had the time was I went out in my yard and picked off a branch and sanded it down and just sort of made my own little bow and arrow just for her to pose with. So in a few moments, I think I'll show you off some nice poses that she can do very 
unique and very small list of items. Short review, not much to it. At the end of the day, it is still a Barbie doll, very sturdy, as in they can last a long time. I do like that she does come with a stand. I Honestly, I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought we were just going to get straight up the doll and nothing to go with it. But it is nice to know that they did go the extra mile just to give you a stand. So if you want to have her airborne and giving her a nice pose with an axe in hand or maybe a bow and arrow if you can make one or buy one separately. And yeah, pretty cool. Another slight disappointment, one I'm not overly upset about because it's kind of standard, is that her face does just kind of have this blank, bland stare, and there's really not much going on with it. Just kind of, eh, just kind of bored, fighting crime, exploring tombs. She doesn't hate tombs. She's just indifferent towards them. <laughs> so yeah, I do kind of wish that maybe they could have gone out of their way to give her a little bit more of a facial expression rather than just the blank stare. Because when you're posing with her and just giving her something to do and trying to make her look cool in the air, having that blank stare on her face just kind of... Uh, from a distance and even close up to a degree, it does look pretty damn good. At the end of the day, I'm glad I got it. Um, I was surprised and disappointed, mostly just with the lack of accessories, but you know what, considering that this is a 12 inch doll, there are millions of accessories ranging from Barbie to G.I. Joe that you could easily just adopt and add on to her as well. Granted, unfortunately, they are kind of pricey. Yeah, I looked it up, but they do exist. So there you guys have it. It's my short look at and probably my first and only time reviewing a figure of sorts i would say comment below and ask if you guys want to see more but we're not really a channel dedicated to reviewing toys the only reason why i'm doing this one is because it was a very unusual find out of nowhere that one of my favorite heroines lara croft is suddenly getting a barbie doll figure probably not the first time but it's definitely one of the first times it caught my attention and so yeah i was surprised i was glad to get my hands on one because i don't know how valuable or how sought after they are some say that they're actually pretty hard to find so if you can get your hands on one um i don't think it's a bad purchase you could do a lot worse i mean you do have to go out of your way if you want to get the better accessories and pistols and things but if you even do the bare minimum of basic trying to go and get that stuff it probably wouldn't be too hard so with that viewers let me show off some poses with her and uh we will see you next time thank you for watching